So I went to college for fast pitch on a scholarship. Took my very first art class there, my only C in college. So kind of wasn't interested in the whole formal art thing. Um, and then I started, I got back into art when I had a pretty serious uh, injury to my head. It, while playing ball, I took a line drive to the head and fractured my skull and it was messy and I just couldn't play again the same way. So I started doing art in the form of baseball to kind of get my fix again. And yeah, it just kind of took off from there. Half the time I make up what I'm doing. I don't know the professional terms. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but as long as it looks good, people like it, so. Sports is a, is a focus for me for my business aspect for sure, um, especially with baseball now that I'm licensed by Major League Baseball and the Players Association. But for a long time, I focused art on um, mental health too, like using it as an outlet for myself for speaking um, in terms of anxiety and panic. Um, and also animals, I love to do dogs and stuff. But for my business model, I really moved towards baseball because I couldn't play it anymore. And I wanted to be able to still be involved in it. And I love being able to tell stories through art with one piece. So having an image and then within it, having a story that a baseball fan can understand. So for example, the red seat, you've got Ted Williams who hit, you know, a home run to that seat, hit the guy in the straw hat. Big part of history, furthest home run in Fenway ever. My introduction to MLB started by creating a piece for James Paxton after his no-hitter. Um, and people on social media really helped me by tagging him. Um, and eventually, you know, within 15 minutes even, he was like, how about two batting practice passes? And I was like, well, that was awesome. So then I started thinking I can do this with other players, but it wasn't as easy. <laughs> it was a lot harder because there wasn't as many local people to tag. So I just started networking, like relentless emailing, um, tagging. I did anything and everything I could to reach either the athlete or someone associated with the athlete. Um, yeah, and some days I, I get rejected a hundred times, you know, it just depends, but um, it's getting easier. My name's getting out there, so it's getting easier to reach people. There's two parts. So one part is the baseball part of things. So I want to keep being, I want to keep rising as a sports artist that the industry really recognizes, you know, continue to be hired by professional athletes and not just giving them art. Um, and then the commercial side of it, of course, with the prints. And then the other part is, as I grow on this platform, using it as an opportunity to kind of speak to younger people or really anyone about um, mental health and how art really pulled me out of that and um, how it's been such a huge part of my life and trying to use it to let people know that you can look like you're crushing it and still have tr you know some inner battles and that's okay. And being honest about them and open about them is, is totally okay. So there's kind of two parts that I, I want to achieve in my, my career. You can see some of my art, especially the, the licensed prints and as well as some originals on my website, laurentaylorillustrations.com. Instagram is also Lauren Taylor Illustrations and Twitter is LT Illustrations.